Situated on Cape Town's ever-popular Atlantic seaboard, Expresso's House of the Month is an urban dwelling that boasts a new look. The man who worked the makeover magic was David Augustine, a quantity surveyor whose passion for architecture and interiors gave rise to his own company about eight years ago. David, I was pleasantly surprised by this beautiful vegetable garden as you walk into the property, which is quite surprising if you think about city living. Yes, Hugh, and the client was very specific about bringing the outdoor spaces inside. He wanted a functional garden, and so we thought it great to plant a vegetable garden that he can use inside when he prepares food. I absolutely love it. It's so refreshing. But you know what? Sitting on this couch, I feel almost at home. I feel so relaxed. I feel like I can breathe with these high ceilings. But this is not what it was like before renovation started. Totally not. It's been an old, old building that needed a lot of attention. So what exactly was it like before the renovations? Well, firstly, the building didn't have uh, a double story. It was a single story with a, a corrugated roof on. Uh, we decided to remove that completely because the requirement for the client was also to have additional space. The client really wanted the house to have its own identity and to have an individual feeling about it. So if you looked at when you came up, you saw the tower that was in front of you. That was part of the, the new look and the new identity and, and having presence uh, where it's standing at the moment. Well, I'd love to see a bit more of the house. Yes, absolutely. Let's go. A variety of plants are at home in vertical wooden frames to create a tranquil tapestry. It inspired clever play with yellow in the dining room. And here we are in the kitchen and what a beauty, but don't they say that the kitchen is the heart of the home? Absolutely, and in this house it's very true. This kitchen connects with all the other spaces in the house and we love that about being able to sit in any other space and connect to whoever is around the table in the kitchen. The other thing that I've noticed is that there's a very clever use of energy efficient lighting. Was that a brief from the beginning as well? It was, but also from a design point of view we have a very good philosophy in our practice that we're always very environmental Conscious. The LED lights prove that saving the planet and creating ambience need not be mutually exclusive. Their colors range from cool to warm, plus the bulbs need only be replaced about once every 30 years. The good thing is that you'll never have to change a light bulb in your life again. <laughs> what about budget? I can just imagine that there's some sort of budget connected to a renovation like this. How did you manage to stay in the budget if you did so? We have stayed into the budget, we have ch had challenges, but um, we had to come up with clever ideas. Part of the solutions for us was uh, reusing existing materials. And this is a classic example, the kitchen is um, the complete old kitchen that we've uh, reused. We've painted it um, and put a new top on. And the other way that we save costs is with the flooring, 90% of the ground floor materials has been retained and reused. I think the one area that everyone's always interested in seeing is of course the main bedroom. Should we head up there? Yes, absolutely. Let's go. Oh, wow. You know what? I can totally understand why this is the area of the house that people really want to see. I mean, can you imagine waking up to that view? That was part of the brief from the client to bring the outdoors inside. And um, there's nothing better than waking up in a bed like this. Um, overlooking the ocean. It's absolutely magnificent, but once again, I get the sense of space up here. That's definitely part of our overall design. We enlarge windows to bring in natural light as much as possible. We created open spaces um, in one room. This room flows through to a dressing room and uh, a study and has its own private courtyard. Drawing from the relaxed upstairs atmosphere is a muted color palette while the downstairs guest bedroom enjoys inviting splashes of color. The house also sports custom-designed furniture from David's company named Establishment. But I must be honest, one of my favorite aspects about the main bedroom is of course this awesome shower. I mean, look at this, this really allows you to expose yourself to this view. But I think it's, uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, I must say. Absolutely, but we've got some solutions for that. And by the press of a button, would you look at that? And by remote control. Absolutely. I'm impressed, I'm impressed. So uh, when do I move in? Just give me your checkbook. <laughs> I'll test the shower first. <laughs> One can tell Ewan feels right at home. And all is as it should be in this revived and inviting urban space.